Hello everyone, Suresh Garamella here. The reason I've always loved my job as a professor is the energy I get from the hustle and bustle of campus, the rhythm of campus, of young inquiring minds, of my faculty colleagues committed to discovery and scholarship, and our dedicated staff who make the university what it is. Over the last 30 years of my academic life, summer breaks have always been a welcome time to recharge, to catch up with research and other projects I've put off. But when the fall comes and all the students have crowded back on campus, that's when I'm reminded of what was missing in those summers and what the core of a university is. As I look out on our beloved campus today, I know that's what we all are missing right now. It's a shame that the coronavirus has deprived us of just what the university means. Community, contact, camaraderie. I woke up this morning to a reading on NPR from Minnesota poet Laura Kelly Fanucci that went, when this is over, may we never again take for granted a handshake with a stranger, and on it went. As a parent with two kids back from college, I have some sense of what this forced isolation is doing. I know some of you have more challenging circumstances and that learning under all this stress is not easy. At your university, we're managing the pandemic with the best information available at the time. We're consulting our doctors, our public health specialists, we're working closely with the Vermont Department of Health as we make decisions. As you know, we have limited on-campus living to only those students who have a demonstrated need to be here. We've been offering different kinds of technology support in terms of laptops and broadband access, emergency funds to students who need it uh, due to unexpected travel and such. Our faculty are working in overdrive to provide the best education possible under these trying circumstances that came without warning or any preparation time. Our staff are doing what they do best, supporting the university in the myriad ways in which they underpin all aspects of our operation, and they're doing so with dedication and a positive approach. And proving the strength and connection of the Catamount family, our friends and alumni are pitching in to support our dedicated pandemic fund. We're partnering with the state in providing medical resources and public health guidance. You wouldn't recognize Patrick Jim today as it has been transformed into a surge space for our hospital should the medical situation call for it. Amid the gloom, we're contributing important solutions that only we as a university can. Our doctors are working with the state to increase capacity for coronavirus testing. Faculty from several disciplines are mapping the spread of the virus so that we can stem it better. Our engineers are making simple 3D printed face masks and designing an inexpensive ventilator. This can-do spirit of our community and the selfless sacrifice of our frontline medical professionals and volunteers is what we all know defines our core. And looking forward to happier times, and there will be happier times coming, our admissions folks are providing the best virtual experiences possible for our admitted students who cannot currently visit campus. As we all work diligently under and under less than ideal conditions, let us look forward to when we can experience again the joy of a hug or a handshake, when we can crowd our classrooms, our cafeterias, our libraries again. And for the new students who will join us for the first time this fall, I promise you, you're in for a treat. You all have my sincere best wishes and gratitude. Please stay safe, strong, and healthy, and support each other the best you can. Thank you.